Okay, guys. Hey, I think we are on our live. Yes, we are live. I think I came on just a little bit early. And so I will wait for you guys to hop on. And I am super excited to be doing a live again. I haven't done it in months and I'm back and I'm glad. And I hope that you guys will be here too tonight. If not, if you guys are watching on the replay, then um, definitely let me know. <gasps> Gina, hello, happy new year. I'm so glad you're here. Let me go into, oh, there we go. I'm just trying to make sure that it's working everywhere and it is. Okay, I'm sorry, you probably can hear my dog snoring in here. <laughs> He's so funny. So how are you? How is everybody? Happy New Year to everybody. Let me, I'm gonna turn something on really quick. Oh my gosh, he's so loud. Hello, Marisha, my friend. Hold on, I'm gonna, he's in, can you guys hear my dog snoring? Let me ask that first. Can you hear my dog? And if you so, is he really loud? <clears throat> like, is he going to be disruptive? Do I need to kick him out of my room? Because <laughs> he's already out like a light. That's so funny. <gasps> Hello, Carissa. His snore is so cute. So yes, you can hear it. Is it loud, Marisha? I'd be totally honest. Is it loud and is it going to be distracting <laughs> through this whole video? Let me know. <laughs> okay, the dog's fine. Okay, good. Because he's so funny when I, because I was kind of in my jammies today. So when I got dressed to do this, his eyeballs were huge looking at me like, where are you going? He just, he, he has to be around me all the time. Hey, shh, quiet. Like I didn't dare let him chew a bone in here because it was gonna be awful. So. Anyways, hello everyone. Um, trying to make sure this thing's <clears throat> not in the front of my head. We're gonna make a fun Valentine card today. Okay, good. Okay. Um, and it's from it's kind it's inspired by a card that I made before. I made this for the scrapbook and cards um, magazine. When was this? This was like Christmas a couple years ago, 2019. And so I'll show you. So this was my card. You guys see that okay? This guy right here. So this was kind of my inspiration, like loosely. And then I did another video, which I just realized right now I should have linked for you. And if I can remember at the end, I'll link it. Oh, that I made another card that was like kind of similar to that. Um, so we're gonna do something loosely inspired by that. I thought it would be cute to make a Valentine's card um, with something like that. So that's what we're gonna do today. I also wanted to share something new I got and the reason, thank you guys. Gizmo, honestly, hold on. <laughs> Shh, don't do that. He's gonna start licking his foot and that's gonna be awful. <clears throat> um, the stadium organizer, let me scoot over. The stadium organizer from Scrapbook Dot com and I know Marisha's gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, they just had a sale on them. I think they're still on sale right now, but this is what it looks like. So you have these tiers, like two solid um, pieces, and then down here you have like two sectioned out pieces. The reason why I'm sharing this is because when I saw this, when they were announcing it, um, hold on, Shh. Okay, if you keep doing this, you're gonna have to leave. I need you to hush. Let me, let me, here, he wants to say hi. <gasps> there he is. There's the fur baby. No kisses. No. Say hello, everybody. Look. Gizmo, look. See, look how handsome. Say hi. <laughs> okay. Um, but when I saw it, I instantly thought that would be great to, when you're working on a project, and I don't know about you, but like, the stuff that you're working with is like over the whole desk. 
I thought this would be great to put it in like as you're finished using it so that way you can keep track of what you use either for your video, for your blog or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm gonna use it. And then I got a second one because they were talking about like maybe putting your, um, your die cut things, so I can't think what they're called at all right now, in those as well on your desk. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because that's something new that I'm gonna try and I think I'm gonna love it and it's gonna kind of keep my area clean. So I did a lot of prep work already and so I put all that stuff in this thing. So, okay, let me see what you guys are saying. You ordered two, Marisha. I, that's what I ordered too. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe I should have ordered another one. <laughs> So I do have that linked below you guys down in uh, the description along with everything else that I used. Oh, Nakia, hello. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, he is a cutie, huh? Sally, oh, uh, you know what? Where I've just been talking nothing big other than asking about if my dog snores too loud. So Sally, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I think what time is it? Yeah, I think we can kind of flip around and I'll kind of tell you where I've been and what's been going on and and we'll make a card and we'll go from there. Shh, it's not that okay, hold on, let me flip. Let me flip us. Okay, so let me bring in what we're going to use today. So in the magazine, I used this stamp set from Lawn Fawn and, and I'm sorry I can't be any... Oh, I hope my camera doesn't start doing that. Why is it doing that? Oh, don't do it. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry if it does that, you guys. I hope it doesn't do the automatic focusing. Um, I couldn't have it zoomed in because it wouldn't let me zoom it for whatever reason. Um, yes, we do need Marcy. <laughs> I know, I hope she's able to come on here. So this is the one I used in the magazine. Um, but I decided to use honeybee stamps. They're a little bit bigger and I'm going to do some other just kind of different fun things. So we're going to use this. Um, and then there's this cute, let me pull this out. It's the Conversation Heart Stencils from Lawn Fawn. So look how cute. The Conversation Hearts. I don't know why. Sorry. Let me go down like this. I apologize for it doing that. But isn't that cute? So you have, it says love, I love you, hey, sweet, miss you, hug, hi, kiss, thanks. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. I'm also gonna be using Pink and Main's embossing folder. This is the Mini Hearts 6x6 six six embossing folder. And what I like about it is that you have solid hearts and then some really cute open hearts on that. So that's what we're gonna use. So I've done some die cutting. Oh, also, uh, the, I think it's called the Huge XOXO from Lawn Fawn. So we're going to use that and some stencil paste and some ink. And yeah, all that good stuff. So <clears throat> I die cut two coffee mugs. One from, um, I think it's like a light gray cardstock. And then a pink cardstock. The cute little spoon. Isn't that cute? With a silver mirror cardstock. I die cut the three XOs, XOs, because we're gonna stack those. They are in black. Um, I also die cut the, um, like the whipped cream or whatever on top, and we're gonna make that fun with a Marvy snow pin. And then I die cut hearts and all those kinds of things. Oh, I probably need to grab a brown. So let me grab, we're gonna do a little bit of ink blending first just to kind of get these cups like a little cuter. But let me grab a brown because I forgot. Let me grab this cappuccino. I'm so glad to be crafting with you guys again. <clears throat> let me see if I've missed anything. No, I think I'm good. I am going to turn it this way though. Okay. Alrighty. Um, okay, so I think my last lives were probably in July or August or something like that. Um, this is brown. This is Simon Says Stamp Cappuccino. I don't have this listed because I forgot that I needed it, but the other two inks are listed. So um, so I know I shared with you guys before that we, about a year ago, got three Frenchies other than this little gizmo guy here. We had Mando and um, Chewy and Kirby. So I'm just going to ink blend a little bit on the outside just to give it 
a little something and this is going to be like tea I'm imagining making this card for my husband and myself because we like to have our coffee slash tea whatever together so that's what is on my mind <laughs> okay so um in august our dog mando all of a sudden um started having seizures oh nakia thank you marcia you're back here next week my man oh sweet um started having seizures out of nowhere he had just turned a year old like i think he was like three weeks past a year old i'm going to use guava here and um so we talked we talked with three different vets um you could have we could have done tests and stuff but it was like five thousand dollars and we couldn't afford that so we didn't but all the vets concluded that it was considered hereditary uh, because of the timing at a year between a year and five years is usually hereditary is what they say so obviously you know we were stressed out he was having seizures about every week every two weeks we were trying all different kinds of meds um and so you know our daughter has epilepsy as well and hers is not controlled and <clears throat> At the same time, her seizures were weirdly increasing to almost every week, where before they were once a month or whatever. And so it was really a heartbreaking decision, but we ended up finding a rescue that could find him a home because we couldn't have, we couldn't take care of two beings with seizures like that all the time. It's just too stressful. It's like overly, it's already stressful enough. You know what I mean? Okay, look at how cute that is. So we found a, a Frenchie rescue and they, <clears throat> which I'm going to tell you guys was so heartbreaking. I've never cried so hard in my entire life, which is not true. I have because our dogs have died, but you know, it, but like it's the same, it's the same thing. So we uh, found a rescue. They had a lady, um, super sweet, wonderful lady <clears throat> who was knows how to take care of dogs with seizures and things like that and she had other dogs and we spoke and so my husband and I drove 30 hours to Spokane Washington to take him up there I'm using flannel right now um and we dropped him off and that was that sucked <laughs> I'm gonna be real honest that was not fun um and I stayed in contact with them like almost daily I would uh, message her and see how he was doing she would send me pictures of him and he started ha increasing his seizure started to increase when he was there and after three weeks of him being there he ended up passing away because actually he didn't end up having epilepsy he had a brain tumor that nobody knew or whatever so <clears throat> here's that one you guys so that was really heartbreaking. It was really sad and um, I tried not to feel guilty. I just realized that, you know, we were probably, we our family was not meant to see that or be around that or whatever. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of what was going on, which is part of why I wasn't doing any lives because I was stressed and exhausted and, <clears throat> and then there's some other things going on that are I'm not going to say on camera, but, <laughs> um, yeah. So anyways, that was that. So that's why, hey, stop that noise. That's why, um, yeah, I wasn't doing lies because it was just a, lo a lot too much was going on. So, um, but I know that he was very well taken care of and they loved him a lot. And I, I, had a feeling that they he would have been like a <clears throat> a foster fail um, because he was such a fantastic little dog and I just kept saying to my husband all the time like are we sure we can't keep him are we sure and like we already have a, a a monitor for my daughter like she's got a watch that if she has a seizure it goes off and texts us but when that's being charged we literally have a baby monitor so we can hear her and we had one for him when he was in his kennel so it was just a lot why you gotta be so noisy? 
get out of there. So anyways, that is what was going on. So I apologize for not being on lives. But anyways, we're going to get off the sad stuff. I see what you guys are saying. Yes, she was a huge blessing, Gina. I know, Marcia. It was so sad. It, the whole thing was just awful. It was just an awful decision to have to make to even rehome him. Sorry, my camera's doing that. I would like it to stop. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> I guess sometimes you're just kind of forced into doing what you got to do, right? Okay. So I'm stacking these. Thank you guys for all of your sweet stuff. I can actually talk about it right now without bawling my eyes out, which has just been barely. <laughs> and you know, we had just lost our other dog just a year ago, February, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, this is just too much. Okay, so I, I adhered these together. So now they have a little bit of, of dimension. But I just realized that when I ordered this black cardstock from Cardstock Warehouse, I didn't get the 100 pound. I think I got like the 65 and it's pretty thin. So if you do a thicker cardstock, it's gonna be thicker. Let's see if that'll make that stop. Why is it doing that? Is it gonna do it? Yes. And I know it was starting to change the color. Okay. Yeah, can you change that? Just hang on guys, we're gonna see if, my husband's gonna see if we can fix this. Really quick. That's my husband's arm. <laughs> You're funny. I don't know why. It'll stop, but I don't know what it is. Your camera has a heartbeat. Yes, it does. <laughs> Did you look it up? Yeah, let me see. It was, um, it was okay, right here. Let's see my webcam. Is it supposed to be under the OBS or the Logitech? I'm trying to see. I'm trying to remember what I was saying to look up real quick. I thought it was because maybe I couldn't zoom in. Hang tight, guys. We're going to get there. It's still doing that. Maybe. Oh, no. Yeah. It's almost like because it's so far away and I couldn't focus it that it's trying to focus down below. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Does so that make sense? So did I bring the camera further down? The setting I looked up is not in here. It's OBS. No, it's just in there. Yeah. Maybe can you turn it down a little bit? See, because when I go like this, it does that. It stops doing that. So when my hand is down here, if I move around, it's going to start trying to... But if I bring it up, it stops. Okay. I can lower it real quick. Okay. Can you do that? Okay, hang tight, guys. We're just going to lower this really quick. So sorry if it's going to make your car sick. <laughs> <coughs> see maybe that's the solution I think you fixed it babe okay can you just tighten it yeah tighten moment? it really quick I think we're good guys we're gonna be back Wait. in action think, no I lied okay I don't know we'll try to figure it out we'll just we'll just have to roll with it okay thank you okay, you're welcome. no it's still doing it well maybe look it up again and come back I'll do that okay all right, guys, we're going to move forward, and he's going to try to figure it out. Technology is so crazy. Oh, that needs to quit that. I am so sorry, you guys. That is obnoxious. Okay. All right, so I want to do a white background. Oh, what is the deal? I think it's almost worse now that it's lower, I wonder. So let's use this cute pink and mane. Um, embossing folder if I can get it open okay so how has everybody been how was your new year how was your holidays <clears throat> excuse me ours was good got to buy and spoil the grandbaby which is always fun okay so I'm gonna put this through my spellbinders die cut machine I'm sorry that it's doing that while I'm doing this oh hold on I don't have the right thing so 
I have the universal plates through Spellbinders. Put this here. Maybe that will help focus it. No. And um, <clears throat> it's fantastic, you guys. Like, you just look on the thing, and it shows you like the different sandwiches to make. And hey, babe, I need you to come back and pull it up because I think it's worse. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Christmas and New Year's was great. It was on vacation, but ate too much. I don't know. Can you really eat too much? That sounds fun, though. Did you go somewhere fun, Nakia? Okay. Look at how cute that is. I love these little open hearts. Isn't that so fun? Hey, babe. I need you to put it back up because it's doing it worse, I think. Okay, guys, he's going to do one more thing. I am so sorry. I apologize. Thanks for hanging in with me. How do you write with little hands? Two fingers. It's not doing it. Is it? Is, are you sure it shouldn't be in Logitech? I mean, it wouldn't let me zoom in or anything. Yeah, it should pull up like the, the Logitech setting from there. That's what it was showing. It's not going to. Do you want me to pull that up for you? Yeah, that'd be great. But I can't even get into it. See, like, if it won't let me zoom, it won't let me anything. Go to video. I can't. I can't do anything. It's probably just probably because the OBS probably took control. But it was like that before. <laughs> Self says, if he just leaves his arm there. Yeah, if you just stand here <laughs> with your arm like that, it'll be just fine. That'll work. I wonder if I should... Uh, seriously, that's a good... Uh, here, hold on. Let me just put this thing of paper towels right here. Maybe that'll stop it from, no. <laughs> it didn't work. Oh, that's obnoxious. I was scared it was gonna do this too. Hang on guys, we're getting there. I don't go nowhere, just spending time with hubby and my boys. <laughs> so I said, nope, has to be your arm. <laughs> or yours, yeah, I know. I don't understand why one time it can be fine and then another time it's not fine. Well, do you wanna see something under the Logitech? Sure. Um, it has like a default or like it was asking something before. Let's go back this way. Um, so that's not clicked. Uh, yeah, yeah, click that. Okay. And then click on the camera. And then, then you, maybe you can have control through there. Is that what you're saying? That's possible, yeah. I am so sorry, guys. You guys are being so patient. See if it's doing it now. It might already be fixed. Is it fixed? I think it's fixed, guys. Nope. But it's, I don't think it's doing it as much. We're just going to have to move on with this, honey. As sweet as these girls are, they don't want to sit here and listen to us do this. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Okay, click OK or save or something. It changed it. Okay. All right, thank you. Let me move it up. No, just don't touch anything. <laughs> Let's see if it's going to do it. It does it less if there's something white. Maybe it's the black. Maybe it's the black on black. I don't know. It was doing it other times, so we'll get it figured out. Okay. Thanks for trying. Of course. Okay, guys. I will do my best to make sure it doesn't do that, but we're just going to move forward with this. Okay. So we've got the two mugs. So my idea was to have these stacked like this 
and then stick like the cute XO at the bottom and then we'll kind of build from there. So that's what my plan is. Does that make sense? So I did talk about doing something with this cute, like the whipped cream on top. I really, really, really love to use the Marvy snow pin and a heat tool. So I'm gonna use this. Oh. <laughs> so shake it up. So if you ever use like those pink pins, that's what this is like. So if you push down on the nib, it is um, gonna flood like crazy which is kind of, I use that to my advantage. I just don't do it on my project. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit out. It comes out pretty easily. Can you guys see that? So let's cover this whole thing. I'm gonna use my tweezers. I love this for snow and or whipped cream. <laughs> I guess you could probably use it like a vanilla ice cream. I think they should make a chocolate one. Because chocolate is my favorite. Okay, so now that you have it on there, you're going to take your heat tool and you're going to heat it until it puffs up. Oh. Let me get this right. Ooh. That was nasty sounding. Okay. Gonna watch it puff here in just a second. It's so fun. I think I've shared this pin with you guys before. Now, if you do go too long, if if it does go too long, it will kind of flatten it and make it not look good. But isn't that fun? I love it. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna put that aside. Um, what's on the menu for tonight? Oh, I totally forgot, you guys. What did you eat? I always ask, what'd you guys eat? I even thought about it. Um, I had chili. I made chili this weekend. I like, the last few weeks I've been prepping all of my food for the week. And um, so we made chili. And then we made like, we smoked some chicken and mashed potatoes and salads. And so that's what we have. Okay. Um, is Honey Bee Stamped having a new release this month? Yes, they are. Um, yes, you would be right, Marisha. That is when it is. So yeah, what, what did you guys have for dinner? Okay, so something I wanted to do with this stencil. So I die cut some hearts. And I want to, on two of the hearts, that I want to put two hearts on the mugs. So I die cut them out of red. Pizza and chicken wings for me. Ooh, yum. I ate earth. You ate salad. <laughs> That's funny, Marisha. Mm, yum. Um, I thought it would be cute to use some texture paste and these, these stencils to, um, and put that on there so they can look like the cute little conversation heart. So that is my plan for today. Let me get, I'm gonna get some tape to put these hearts on. Honestly, gizmo. And then we can stencil. So I think I wanna do the kiss and hug. So I love that you can kind of see through this, but let me get it nice and straight. I'm just gonna line this heart up underneath if the tape lets me. <laughs> All right, that's a little crooked. Gizmo, shh. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are the things right here that will drive me nutty. Let's see. Marie, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Could you zoom in a little? I can't, <laughs> my thing won't let me hear it. Let me bring my hand up more, Sally, I am so sorry. That's one of the struggles I had today is that for some reason the software for this overhead camera will not, this is gonna drive me nuts, will not let me, hold on, I'm gonna do this different, will not let me zoom in. So I am so sorry, and I'm sorry that it has a heartbeat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tape this down to my work surface 
the heart. And then I'm going to come in with the sentiment, the little one that says kiss right here. Oh, stop doing that thing. So that's how I'm going to do that because I can't get it lined up any better. Someone had, ooh, a Panera Greek salad. That sounds delish. What does SW, I think that means sweet. I think it, I think that means sweet, Carissa. Okay, so I'm using Lawn Fawn's white uh, stencil paste. <clears throat> and obviously we're only gonna need the tiniest amount. And I'm gonna do it super thin, that way it dries really fast because quite honestly, I should have done that first. But I was too excited to be with you guys and I spaced that out. Oh, look at, let me lift it up. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let me get tweezers before I ruin it with my hands. Oh, look, it's a conversation heart, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put this actually up here to dry. That should dry pretty quick, you guys. <clears throat> now let's do one more. And I'm gonna do the hug on it. I'll do a little bit more of this white stencil paste. Okay. I don't think I've ever used so little stencil paste in my entire life on a project. That is so funny. But that's good though because it takes a long time to dry. Oh, cute. I think I smudged it a little, but it'll just look like there's a shadow behind it. Look at how cute. Maybe there. Cute, cute. Okay. Let me just... I'm just gonna wipe it off with some, I'm gonna spray it with my spray thing. And wipe it off. That is good enough for me. <clears throat> okay, and then my, this. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a second. Um, I think we can get into the sentiment. I am so sorry about that, this thing doing that, you guys. Let me make that stop. I think I have to have something white down here. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's do, okay, this, I wanted to do this Love Ya sentiment. This is from the Lawn Fawn Thanks A Latte Stamp and Die. And I'm just gonna work on this because I think it helps. Mom says she now regrets not getting the conversation heart stencil. <laughs> Well, you can always go get it again for sure. I do have everything listed and linked for you guys below. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do black ink. I know this is gonna be on a tilt. And let me get a, um, let me get the mini misty. No, let me get an acrylic block. Let me grab that really quick. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, this is gonna say love you, which I thought would be really cute on this tag. It's big, so I'm gonna do it on a diagonal. And I'm gonna use some black ink. Gizmo. Shh. French Bulldog snorts so much, it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna just stamp that on there. Oh, it's cute. I like it. <clears throat> How has your guys' weather been? I, mean, I know like California is getting pummeled and there was that those ice storms. We are getting so much rain right now, which is so odd for us. We, all, we always get snow this time of year and we're just, it's just rain. It is so, so crazy. Okay, I think while that other stuff is drying, we can, I'm gonna keep it there. Let's glue these things onto the cups. <clears throat> so I think the pink is gonna have the whipped cream and the gray will be like the tea one because my husband drinks the tea. Let's see, we've gotten about a foot of rain in the last week. 
That's so crazy. Okay, so you got this cute little piece that comes in that die from Honeybee Stamps. This is the Mugs and Kisses. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why I have to keep clearing my throat. I'm so sorry. Let me get some of these things out of the way. Into that little stadium organizer that I was talking about at the beginning. All right, so now we've got this. We did the little bit of ink blending, so it's got some just you know, something interesting about it. It's been cold here, still hoping for snow before the spring, I bet. <clears throat> and then let's adhere this one. I'm just gonna put the glue directly to here. I totally forget, that. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something. And I'll remember as soon as we get off the side, I'll be like, oh yeah. So look, we got cute, cute things. I love it. Okay, those are drying. I wonder if they're even dry yet. Let me see. Those little hearts are almost dry, you guys. So I'm going to carefully bring them in. If you put it on thin, and that stencil paste is thin itself. Okay, let's see. Oh, Bronwyn, hello from Australia. I'm so glad you're here. I Yeah, welcome. I am so happy you're here. Fun, fun. And I apologize for my camera trying to zoom in and out. We've been trying to fix it. It's not getting fixed this time for whatever reason. So we're going to put that little conversation heart right on here. I'm going to put the hug on his and the kiss on mine. So it's dry to the touch, but I'm, not, I'm just still going to be really careful with that stencil paste because I don't want it to get all messed up. Um, I did on my New Year's video, if any of you guys saw that, I did some announcements of <clears throat> what's coming up and thinking about doing the membership stuff on YouTube, which I'm going to ask you guys a question about that, that I'm doing my lives twice a month. I'm going to start back with that because I've just been really exhausted. Um, <clears throat> and so, oh my gosh, that's cute. Um, so I decided that I'm going to do Christmas cards throughout the year because I always get to the end of the year. Let me grab a drink really quick. Hold on. I always get to the end of the year <clears throat> and haven't done nearly as many projects as I wanted to. And so I decided I'm just going to do them throughout the year because then I can at least get it done. And I'm, I, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do too. Probably I'm hoping for like a card a month. And then obviously towards the end of the year, when you reach the holidays, it'll be more than that. Um, Carissa, where is the conversation heart die from? Okay, so the heart itself, this was the heart. And so it's from the Mugs and Kisses. And then the stencil is from Lawn Fawn, the Conversation Heart stencil. So I combined products to create what I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a, oh, you know what? We've got one more sentiment. Let me do that first, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, what was the sentiment that I was gonna use? I think I was gonna no I think that was it that was it okay <laughs> yes shark week I love shark week I'm gonna try something I'm gonna try to add something different to that it's it's but like in a good way different so I got to talk to some people and kind of see if we can make something work so um so yeah I'm gonna do Christmas stuff Oh, look at how cute. I love it. Isn't that fun? Um, let me get a little bit of twine or a little bit of string really quick. And I think I forgot to get out my hearts. Let me kind of get this guy together. Okay. <clears throat> so with this membership thing, um, I will still do my same content that I've been doing now for everybody. Um, but people that are part of the membership will get extra content. So I guess I, and I have some ideas of what I want to do, but I guess I would like to ask you guys, like, 
if you were going to do a membership, what kind of extra content on a card making channel would you want to pay for? That would be my question. I think I'm just gonna tie a knot. So we're gonna make this cute little tea bag here. This is just some gold twine that I've had in my stash and I use it, I think, for everything. <laughs> I just want to figure out how I want to adhere it to this because I don't want it to look like a tag per se. I probably should have, I know what I'm going to do. Let me get my really dull X-Acto knife. Is Marcy, Marcy, hello. Now we have the whole gang. Thank you, Carissa. I appreciate that. Okay, let me, um, let me see. I want to put, I think I'm gonna just make a little slit right under where we, where I adhered the brown piece. Let me see if I can, now that I have this knot in there, I think I need, I think I don't need the knot. Oops. I feel like I don't have it together tonight. I feel like because it's been forever since I've done a live. All right, let me tuck this in here. Maybe. Oh, come on. Let me cut it a little bit more. Like I said, this is a really, really dull exacto knife. All right, let's put you in there. Maybe, come on. I did talk about in that video about adding other projects. All right, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna get this in here. This is not gonna be the night of difficulties, I'm just saying. Let me just tuck it in with this guy and hopefully I don't stab myself on the other end. There we go. There we go. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Okay. Oh, there we go. That looks like that's in there. Then I can just glue it. I can adhere that down. I'm just going to add a little piece of tape. Okay, let's see. All right. All right, all right. Problem solved, I think. Felt like that was more difficult than it needed to be <laughs> but I do want to pop these up I think with foam tape because I love the motion I need to get another big roll of foam tape okay those little mugs are so cute thank you I like them too I love a good it doesn't have to be necessarily coffee but I just love the mugs and stuff I just think they're so darling Let me, I can put that in place in a second. That's gonna go. Okay, I'm just talking things out. <laughs> I was driving home from work. Thanks, I'm so glad, Marcy. Thank you, Marcia, for messaging Marcy and letting her know. Okay, so let me, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball where I need this stuff to be. It needs to be a little lower. That way, stuff isn't hanging too far off, not that I, care horribly about that because I don't. I usually, in my cards, you see a lot of my stuff hanging off because I don't want to cut it. My cabinet full of mugs and tumblers. Oh, we have so many mugs. It's ridiculous, Nakia. I feel you. I told my husband the other day, I'm like, we can't keep buying mugs. Like, something's got to give here. We have no more room. Okay, I'm just going to press those down. I'm going to add a little bit behind the tea bag here. Let's see. But I don't want to cover up that handle all the way, so I've got little fuds everywhere. 
All right, then we're gonna need, I just don't really wanna put some behind that, but I'm gonna have to. Okay, so we'll just cut some little pieces to go behind this, behind the XOXO. My husband right now is literally getting the rest, or getting, I packed up the Christmas over the weekend and our house has been full of the Christmas boxes, so he's moving it now, thank the Lord, because I can hardly move around my house. <laughs> my grandbaby's coming over on Friday, so I kind of need that stuff out of the way. Okay, I'm going to put a couple little pieces down here. Okay, let's see. Let's get this into place. We're coming up on the hour, so I think we're gonna be all right. Oh, I have it upside down. I'm like, wait a minute, something is not making sense to me. I also want to let you guys know that scrapbook.com is having a birthday bash this week. Check out their YouTube channel. I believe Marisha's on it and I'm on it. I think my video comes out on Friday. Marisha, when does your video come out on that channel? Oh, look, it's cute. You know what? I need some foam tape behind that. Let me get this under here. So something I like in a card design, like, because this is, this has a lot of stuff on it, but I didn't want the background to just be plain white, not that there's anything wrong with that, but I wanted it white, but adding an embossing folder gives it some texture and it gives you another design element that isn't gonna interfere with this stuff. Because like if you did something colorful, it's just gonna take away from. Because I thought about doing a stencil and I'm like, no, I just don't wanna do that. Not that it looks horrible, but this is kind of what I like. But aren't those hearts cute, Marcy? Did you see that they have open hearts right here too? I love it. Okay. Then there's this cute little spoon, and then we have some other little hearts, and then I'm gonna bring in some other little hearts. So I think I wanna tuck the spoon in like there, or here. <laughs> of course, once I have my foam tape in there because I don't love that. I think I love it. Oh, see, that's cute. Let's see the open heart, so cute. Oh, let me hold it up again. Maybe it won't do its little heartbeat thing. That's the little open heart right there. And then you have all the little closed hearts, but there's like a few open hearts on the background. So cute. All right, let's add this little spoon here. This is with that same honeybee stamp, the spoon, or die, excuse me, the die that has the mugs and everything. Let me add a little bit of liquid glue and then let's get this in place. Um, maybe. Oh, I love it. See that is hanging off a little. Oh, well, <laughs> what are you going to do? All right. So then I did the red and pink hearts. I don't know which hearts I, I'm going to do, but I thought a red heart would be cute there. Maybe a pink one back here. Again, I like to lay my stuff out because I feel like, because I change my mind so much that if I glue it down, it's gonna be a nightmare. Um, maybe one more pink one up there. What do you think? Oh, I like it. I think that's cute. What do you guys think? What do you think about this one up here? This is where or I could have two right there. Well, that might be cute. What do you guys think? I'll start gluing these ones down here. Tell me what you think about those upper ones. I need some help deciding. <laughs> I'll glue that one there. Tuck this one underneath, kind of back behind. I like these hearts because it's like a like filler pieces. 
and I think that's fun. I think this guy has to have a little piece of foam tape. Shalana, hello! I didn't even notice you were on here. I am so glad. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let me get the stuff off the back, maybe. And we can tuck that in there. And I don't know about you guys, like when I'm doing hearts like this, I have to try to get them at different angles next to each other. Otherwise I feel like it looks weird. <laughs> Maybe another pink one there. No. Okay. Is, was there any thoughts on these hearts, you guys? I don't like that. That is for sure. Let's, maybe let's go here and let's go there. I think I like that. The heart placement is perfect. Oh, see, now I moved it, Marcy. <laughs> And I know it's on a delay, so this I'm going to put this up here and that one back there. Very cute. And then I'm going to bring in some little, little hearts. They're, they're the cute clay hearts from um, Honey Bee Stamps. They have tons of them. I have no idea where I got this container. This was like years ago that I got it. <clears throat> but... There's red, pink, white, black and white. They've got red hot, strawberry ice, and then the tree huggers, which are some of my favorites. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna do the pink and red. Let me get my little tray here. I like the hearts the way you had it laid out. I think I need a cup of hot chocolate now. Me too. Okay. Let's play around with these. These are just going to fill in even more spots. Okay, let's do, let me get some pink ones. I've been using these pink ones a lot lately. They are so cute. I think I'm going to do one there. These little clay hearts are just so darling. I think maybe I'm gonna get another little red one. It's a cup of hot chocolate sounds so good. Yes, it does. So something I'm doing, I have been pre I said I mentioned I'd been prepping food for myself for the last couple weeks, like dinners and lunches and snacks because I realized that going through this stupid menopause thing, um, if I don't, oh geez, if I don't um, eat steadily all through the day and it's like I've added a lot more protein into my diet, I am so exhausted by like one o'clock in the afternoon and I can't even think. I can't, like it's so hard to get through my day. So for the last week and a half, I have noticed a huge difference. Like I really do have protein at every single meal and then lo lots of fruits and vegetables. I really like the Mediterranean diet, but like on steroids as far as the <laughs> protein goes. Um, I have been doing so much better. Other than today, I'm really, really tired, but not like I have been. So I feel like, yay, <laughs> and I've been eating good food. Um, has multicolor conversation hearts too. Oh yes, they do, Chris. I totally forgot about that. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. Let's come in with some white pin detail and then I think we're gonna be done. Oh gosh, I can't reach it. Wait a minute, are you my white pin? I don't know. I don't know if it's a white pin or if it's my glitter pin. I think it's white. Fingers crossed. Well, hold on. Yeah, it's white. Okay, I love how this looks. I think this is a cute card. I love all the hearts. And I do like combining 
um, companies to really get like your custom look, you know? I think that's a lot of fun. Let's go to this heart here, this one. Um, I'm gonna do it on the mug as well. So, if you guys did come late, we have some texture with the Marvy snow pin. We did a little bit of stenciling on the hearts here. You can see a little bit right here. I, I think when I picked up my stencil, I, I slid it a little. I did that the other day too, so I better pay attention to that. Um, so we have fun stencil paste and the Marvy snow pin and cute die cuts and lots of hearts. I think it turned out really, really cute. And I'll bring up the inspiration again one more time. Okay, let me see what that looks like. Let's see. Oh, it's so cute. You know what? I'm going to put some hearts in this. I almost put, I'm going to put some white hearts. Because I think that would be white or do I want pink? See, now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> All right, let's pull this in. The white, let me see what that looks like. Oh, I'm gonna do the white. Because I, even though it's tea, like my husband puts cream in his tea, we can pretend that it is heart shaped. Let's do it. I'm so glad my dog is not snoring loud like he was. He is the loudest out of the three. Oh my gosh, come on, Glow. <laughs> it's just been one of those days, apparently. Oh, I also wanted to say, if you guys didn't see, that um, scrapbook.com is having their SBC Fest again. And I was asked to be an instructor, so I will be doing that. That's in March. I think it's March 10th and 11th, I think. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, guys, that card is done. How fun is that? I'm glad I did those. Those little white hearts are super cute because it needed something in its cup, too. We have the little spoon and all the hearts. I think that's way, way, way fun. Just making sure you guys can see everything. The fun texture from that snow pin. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around. I cannot believe we're already done. Thanks for hanging in there with that uh, difficulty. Let me, let me, Okay, let me scoot over. Okay, so here's that, oh, let me show you. This was the inspiration again. And like I said, I do have a video of another card similar to this one. So this was the inspiration from the magazine. This was, this is my card. Um, but it was Christmas and I stacked the mugs. This was from the Lawn Fawn set. And so that was, I was like, let me revisit that. So I think that's always fun, like if you, do a design that you really liked, then maybe revisit it later um, for a different holiday like we did with this one. You know, I changed it up some, but that was, that was my inspiration. So yeah, it's so cute. I love it. Oh yes, Ghostbusters. <laughs> I love the Ghostbusters too, Marie, we all do. Um, the caretaker for my daughter, her and her husband i think i think like part of their wedding was themed ghostbusters or they played the ghostbusters song it was something like that because they love it so much it's so funny you know what i have this better let me go there okay much better um let me see if i've missed anything else okay thank you guys yeah i think it turned out really really cute oh i love the card you created back there thank you makia yeah, it's a fun card. It's a fun design. Okay, 
So that's it. That was fast. I, I'm so glad I got to do a live with you. Remember, I'm just doing them twice a month right now, the second and fourth Wednesday until I can get like all of my energy back. I'm always so tired at the end of the day. And so, um, yeah, I just pray that I can do that and then I can get back into the weekly ones and we can go from there. But I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Marie. Thank you guys for coming and watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, watch out for me in two weeks. We'll be doing another live and it'll be fun. And watch out for the Christmas cards that are going to be happening all year round because I just want to be able to make more uh, Christmas cards and be watching for the membership thing. And I think that was it. And just extra crafts on my live. Actually, Marisha is going to help me this Saturday with um, learning how to do vinyl because I'm kind of a chicken. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am. So we're going to be doing that. So, oh, you do, Marie. That's awesome. I've never done it. So yeah, making Christmas cards all year is going to be my new thing. And I'm definitely going to share it with you guys. Okay, guys, big hugs. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Love to you all. Thank you very much for all your support. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.